Okay, so I've uh, shared my screen. Please confirm if you're able to see it, okay? Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, right. So um, I gave you two things as homework. One was uh, naming the shaded region. And then the, the second part was these uh, questions, right? The ones with Venn diagram. So let's do first part and then we'll talk about the second one. Okay. Now, in the first part, we need to understand one thing. Yes, most of the answers were correct, but there's only one thing which I wanted to tell you that for one, right? For this case, it's not necessary that in every, uh, that every shaded region would have intersection or union sign or stuff like that, right? Uh, I would not like to mention the student's name, but yes, um, so that is because students most of the time they think that answers should have intersection sign or union sign. No, it is not necessary, right? We can only see that A set is shaded, right? So it is only the sorry, sorry, B set is shaded, right? So it is only B. It is only B, right? It is not B intersection A, it is not B intersection A complement, stuff like that. No, it is only B, right? Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then uh, we have a second question. It's very easy. We have A, we have B. Both of them are shaded. So what, what is it? It is A union B. This was correct. Then because we have discussed all these in the previous class. So yes. Then this is the third question. Okay. Now for this question again, um, some of the answers were of this type A intersection B complement and stuff like that. No, okay. It is not like that. It is A only. It is A only. You can clearly see that A set is shaded. That's it. So it's A only, right? So it is not necessary to have intersection or union sign whenever you have been asked to name the shaded region, right? So are we clear with this? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Any, anything which you would like to ask anyone? No, ma'am. We have some new students as well. So you guys have to stop me if you're not able to understand anything, okay? Right, so uh, this is the, this was the second question. Okay, now, um, yes, this is true that we did not discuss uh, this type of questions in class because I had this assumption in my mind that this would be obvious, but that's completely fine, okay? It's good that we are able to discuss it now, right? Okay, so let's talk about this, okay? I assumed that this should be okay because this minus sign means minus, nothing else. It's the mathematical minus, right? Okay, so what do we have? This is set C and this is A intersection B. What do we have in C? Let's, let, let's, uh, let's not write everything. We have everything on the diagram so we can do it there, okay? What do we have in set C? I'll, I'll shade set C. So we have all of this content which I'm shading with green color, right? This is in the set C, okay. And what do we have in A intersection B? I'll shade that with another color. Let's say I'll shade that with red. So I have this, okay? Now, what is the question? The question is C minus A intersection B, right? In C, we have some part of A intersection B, right? This is that part. We need to subtract that from C and rest of the elements are going to come as it is. So obviously I need to rub it just so we can see the uh, number which we have. Okay, it was 13, right? So in C, initially we had one, six, 13, 10, 19, and nine, right? And these are the elements, okay? These are the elements. This is two and seven. Two and seven are in A. It's not the number of elements. Okay, be very careful with this. 
okay and now when we minus a intersection b we minus this so we only have 1 6 10 19 and 9 okay so this was the answer okay are you clear now yes this this is the answer the, the yellow region without the red circle okay so neem is it clear and all the other students is it clear any question uh, yes i thought uh, but first i thought we have to solve the bracket so if like we do it from like the other side if we do the bracket first then the answer is going to be different okay right so you are saying that if we do a intersection b a intersection b has 12 8 and 13 right even you are you are yes. 100% right but when we do c minus this we don't have 12 and 8 and c right so forget about this we only have to um, get rid of 13 from the set c and write down all the elements other than 13 right this is how we do okay 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 let's do another example and then we'll get better at it okay so we have a intersection c minus b now who's going to tell me a intersection c 1613 very good okay so we have initially we have 1 6 and 13 and we have to minus b now by minus b it means the elements of b which we have in this set in this set we need to cut them so which elements of b do we have in this set 13 yes okay so we have 1 and 6 only in this set right amir are you clear with this yes ma'am okay let's do another question and then we'll talk about the new chapter uh okay so which question should i do any suggestions so b minus a to section c wala and what number kaun sa uska 6 6 okay so we have b minus a into section c okay let's figure out b and a into section c so this is the set b we have all the screen stuff in this okay and then we have a intersection c right so which element of a intersection c <coughs> sorry is in b as well these are the elements of a intersection c and this 13 is again the element which is in b right so we need to write down 12 8 18 10 and 5 without 13 that would be the answer Okay. The ten part, ma'am. Okay. Uh, the B U nine C intersection. Okay, let's do the ten part. This part, right? Okay. Now, for these questions, again, we are going to use our own method, right? <coughs> Sorry. Let me just rub this. Let's uh, name everything again and let's do it that way, okay? Because we have fixed method for solving every question, which we have been doing in our um, regular classes as well. So let's name it. Let's say this is one. This is two. Okay, I'm I'm numbering the region. Be very clear with this. Don't mix it up with other things. Okay, this is four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Now, what do we have to do? We need to find intersection of B union C and A. What are the elements in B union C? Wait, let me go up. 
we need to do b union c whole intersection a okay One five six eight nine ten twelve thirteen eighteen nineteen. Hmm hmm hmm. Wow. Oh, okay. In B union C, we we don't have one. We don't have one. We have three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right? Is it correct? Yes. Okay, and what do we have in A? We have two, three. Two, two, three, five, six. Yes, we have two, three, five, and six. And now let's talk about their intersection. What is um, common in both these sets? In this set and in this set. Three. Three and five and six. Three, five, and six. Okay, so we have three, five, and six. But we are not done with our answer. This is not the answer, right? What is three? Three is this region. What is five? Five is this region, and what is six? Six is this region, right? So we need to write down the elements of this region. One, six, thirteen. Eight and twelve, right? Once we have figured out the region, numbers dikna is not an issue. We can do that, right, guys? You can do that. Is it okay? Yes. Excuse yes. me. Yes. Like this question is also done by the sets. Like I wrote it, I done it in another way. Like I first wrote the sets of B union, B union C, and then uh, into A, and then intersected them. The answer is the same, but uh, the other parts here. Why isn't it? Why can't we do the other parts with the same method? No, you can. You which other parts? Like in this question? Yes. Because we have a different thing. We have minus sign here. Minus is not intersection. Minus means you need to remove the elements of this set which are coming in this set, right? Yes. And you are still doing. We are still doing that this way. We write the elements of C. We write the elements of A into section B, and the ones and the elements of A into section B which are coming in C, we remove them. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ma'am. Yes. Uh, do we have these minus signs and sets and past tenses which we haven't seen any? Um. Yes, you are right, but I think that you know since you are in O level, so uh, it's not metric things could be unseen as well, right? I'm not saying that if something is not part of the syllabus that can come, but it's good that you know such concepts as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions from this chapter? No, ma'am. Okay. Then I'll. Stop sharing the screen.